In this video, we're going to look for an ideal that is a maximal ideal, but not a prime ideal. And the reason this is important is that sometimes students have real problems understanding the differences between these two kinds of ideals. To start with, I want to review what the definitions of these two kinds of ideals are. A maximal ideal has this definition. I is a maximal ideal of R if and only if we have the property that if J is an ideal of R and J contains I as a subset, then either I is equal to J or J is equal to R. In other words, what this is really saying is that there are no intermediate ideals that lie between I and R. The definition of a prime ideal, on the other hand, is defined in terms of products that belong to the ideal. An ideal I is a prime ideal of R if and only if the product AB belonging to I implies that one of the two factors has to belong to I. In other words, AB is in I implies either A is in I or B is in I. Now, our goal in this particular video is to find an ideal that is maximal, but not prime. And this particular example that I'm going to construct is based on an example that we've been looking at for other purposes as well. So let's get started. I am going to let my main ring R be three times Z. So it's the set of multiples of three. And we already know that R is a ring in and of its own right. And I'm going to let I be 9z. And that's just the multiples of 9. And it's easy to show the following things. Clearly, I is a subset of R, since if I take an element of I, then I know that that k can be written as 9 times something, and 9 itself is 3 times 3, so I can write k is equal to 3 times 3q, and 3q is inside r, so this is indeed inside r. The other thing is, is that I want to note that i is actually an ideal of r. And that's also easy. Uh, I let k be inside i, which is 9z, and I need let r be inside ring r, which is 3z, and I need to show that r times k belongs to the ideal i. Well, r is going to be inside 3z, so r is equal to 3 times something, and k is inside 9z, so k looks like 9 times something. And that means r times k is 3q times 9l. And a little bit of algebra lets me rewrite that as 9 times 3 times ql. And that is clearly inside 9z, which is equal to i. So i is indeed an ideal of r. Now, what I need to do is I need to tell you that the claim is I is a maximal ideal of ring R that is not a prime ideal of R. And so we have to prove both claims. So let's look at them one at a time. So we are first going to show I is not a prime ideal, because this is actually the easier of the two things to show. Uh, what I want to do is I want to note that 3 itself is a perfectly good element of R which was all of the multiples of 3. And
And three is clearly not inside the ideal I, which was 9z, but three times three is equal to nine, and nine is inside 9z, but neither of these factors belongs to I. So this is enough to say I is not a prime ideal of the ring R, which is 3z. So we know that I is not a prime ideal. We now need to show that I is a maximal ideal. So I is maximal. Now, we're not going to redo everything that we've done in previous videos. So what I want to do is I actually want to remind you of some stuff that we did in video 73.1. So in video 73.1, we showed that the quotient ring 3z mod 9z is a commutative ring that has no non-trivial ideals. And uh, that was an important, um, it was an important little piece of looking at the converse of a theorem that says the only ideals of a field are the trivial ones. This is an example of a ring that shows that the converse of that theorem is not true. Now, what I want to realize is that that particular quotient ring is nothing more than R mod I in this particular example. So R mod I in our current example has no non-trivial ideals. And this can be used to show that I is a maximal ideal by looking at the correspondence theorem. So now consider the correspondence theorem. As applied to this example, what we have is we know that R is up here and we know that I is down here. And this is our ring 3z, and this is our ideal 9z. We know that in the, in the correspondence theorem, the canonical map takes r to r mod i. It takes i to i mod i, which is just 0 plus i. And in this particular case, that would be the set containing 0 plus 9z. And R mod I is 3Z mod 9Z. Now, the correspondence theorem, I want to remind you that the correspondence theorem says there is a one-to-one -one correspondence between the ideals up here and the ideals down here. But there are no ideals down here. And that's by video 73.1. And since there are no ideals down here, there cannot be any ideals up here by the correspondence theorem. And so what that says is that there are no ideals of 3z that contain 9z as a proper subset. And that says our ideal i, which is 9z, is a maximal ideal in the ring R, which is 3z. But as we've already seen, I is not prime.
prime. So there are maximal ideals that are not prime ideals. So maximal ideal does not necessarily imply prime ideal. In a later video, we will see that it is possible to find prime ideals that are not maximal.